right machine head, machine head again how many times have we covered machine head on this channel <laughs> Carl, Brendan, and Dan here from Games, Brains, and Headbanging Life. GBHBot.com for short, and it's reaction time as we go into one of the big bands. I mean, the band you should know. They need no introduction. It is, of course, The Head. Machine fucking Head, who recently released a brand new EP called Arrows and Words from the Sky. Three tracks, and we're going to be checking out the title track. Now, I've not had the chance to listen to EP because I'm just too busy. I've got enough fucking music to review. I can't be bothering with Machine Head, especially when I know Brendan's going to bloody do it. Uh, so take it away, <laughs> Brendan. Oh, maybe I won't then next time. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I'll just go silent now and let you talk about it. If you're going to be was, like that. I thought you were going to do at the gates and you didn't. So, <laughs> uh, no, no. Uh, okay. So obviously machine head, bit of a Marmite band for people in recent years. And by Marmite, I mean, everyone hates them, um, <laughs> but Nothing you know, like mayonnaise. Yeah. Yeah. More like mayonnaise back on sandwiches again, aren't we? Oh, <laughs> but, <always>. um, <laughs> But yeah, like I, you know, I, I went into this EP with the same amount of trepidation as I'd imagine any any fan of Machine Head did, which is like, oh, please don't be shit, please don't be shit. Yeah. And um, and for me, it wasn't. It's not like a Machine Head have gone back and done the black and or anything. Like that. It's a bit of a combination of all the things they put together. But I think Arrows and Words from the Sky for me is probably the best song Machine Head have released in you know maybe an album or two. Yeah, How so, far back would you go? Uh, I think I'd put it around the kind of locust era. Okay. You know, I, I'd, I'd happily sit it around there. It's not. I'm not saying it sounds like a song from the locust sort of era or from the blackening. It sounds like what what a band should be, which is that I'd say learn lessons and evolve over time. And this is where they're at right now. But it's uh, for me, it's a good place where they're at. It's a. Uh, it's not the you know some of the t tough stuff to listen to and catharsis sort of stuff. You know, this isn't made for radio play. It's a longer song, you know, it's uh it's got a bit more meat to it, you know, it feels a little bit like a, a settled band, maybe, maybe starting to find their sound, you know, with the new members. That's interesting, isn't it? Because yeah, the last uh, last couple of releases we have got Machine Head have left us well, I I I speak for us, but I say me. Yeah, no, um, but cold. underwhelmed, isn't it? Underwhelmed, yeah. yeah, that's the word. Uh but Dan, uh throw in your thoughts, Machine Head, you've seen them live. Yeah, I have my feelings about Machine Head. Uh not all of them great i don't really i'm not going to get into it because me and my uh dad over here had a conversation we did have a conversation about, <laughs> about this rob context rob about Fins. context ah he's still a uh, dick. I, just don't, I still don't like him it doesn't doesn't matter if it's in context or out of context i still don't like him but i had my feelings about him I actually, I liked Catharsis and Bloodstones and Diamonds when they came out. Not so much anymore. So my feelings have changed as I've got older. But I do know Machine Head. <laughs> everyone knows Machine Head. <laughs> yes, indeed. Right. Love them, I hate them. Everyone knows them. Let's, uh, let's watch this video before Dan and his Twitter mob do cancel culture on Machine Head. <laughs> I mean, let's see, it got cancelled, what, two hours ago? <laughs> oh my God, you're so woke. Wow. <laughs> there is quite a big difference between what's happening to Lotus Eater, I think. <laughs> Don't oh, you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's do this in three, two, one, go. That's straight in.
old school heavy metal solo, man. Yep. Machine heads. Ooh. I sing this bit beautiful, beautifully in the car. <laughs> Take your word for that. <laughs> I'm sure. Well done. Share. Uh, it's machine head, isn't it? <laughs> it, it, it? I think the instrumentals were brilliant. The solo, oof, I cannot imagine trying to play that. Uh, Rob Flynn's vocals are very underwhelming. He's a boring vocalist. The only, the, the bit that properly got me was the solo and the the really down tune, like, dun, you know? Yeah. The rest of it is just machine head. Okay. All right, that's an interesting take. I mean, I, I agree with you to a, to a degree. I think at times it's very easily that's machine head. But I also think at times it's like, well, this... And I was kind of doing what I asked Brendan at the start about when we talked about what albums may be far back. And I was wondering, like, where would I place this? If someone's been, where can I place this in a machine head discography? And what could you match it up to? There was a moment where I briefly went, oh, that's almost... Ashes of Empire style. But it was so brief, I was like, no, 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 that doesn't work. Then I kind of got the Locust thing and all that. And truth be told, I don't think it does, other than the fact that it's Machine Head, but it's Machine Head now. There's nothing to me specific about that where I can kind of attach it to any Machine Head sound specific to an album beyond it's just the overall Machine Head thing. You get your clean, sort of mournful Rob Flynn vocals. You get a little bit of heaviness and all that. You've got some guitar work there. I thought uh, I, it's going to take some getting used to not having the usual players in Machine Head. So we might not get the usual tricks you're expecting in the guitar department beyond what Rob does himself. But even he might be trying to adapt the style to move away from what he was doing with the other. That's quite interesting. I really liked it. I really liked it. I thought it was mellow enough while still being heavy and so on like that. I thought the guitar solo was particularly interesting because that very felt an old school, heavy metal guitar solo. No nonsense, straightforward. This is what we can do and this is what we're going to be able to do. And it's this is what we, this is it. Um, yeah, I can't really think of anything, anything I can complain about. Yeah, it's a solid damn, yeah, it's that- a solid track. <coughs> and that's that's what I want now. Right now, yeah, you know, you, you know, obviously for me, like Machine Head are one of the most important bands for mm. me in my life. And during these more, uh, I guess, underwhelming times, it's been painful. Like it would be for any of you guys with your favourite bands to be getting releases where you want to champion them, but you know you can't really because you're not yeah. really feeling it yourself. And I, I agree. Well, I guess what I was saying when I said it fitted with Locus, I meant more in terms of what I felt with from a quality perspective that I felt it was so structurally it's different to what Machine had been doing. Catharsis, I, there's a lot of Catharsis I like a lot. Don't get me wrong. There's a lot of Bloodstone and Diamonds I like a lot. Yeah. But what we all know they did with Catharsis, what they did with Bloodstone and Diamonds and what Rob did then with a lot of uh, single releases was to try and push it from a more commercial perspective mm. with shorter songs structurally similar songs you know verse chorus verse chorus that sort of thing and um this went back to the sort of thing that doesn't really get radio play to be honest with you because it's too meandering 
it yeah, is the solo is probably good... the solo is too long uh the structure isn't standard um yeah the heavy bit is too heavy for commercial you know mm. so not but the soft bit is fine because people will like that and for me the song's like i i really really like this song but i like it as much or as a i guess uh i don't know like a signal to me that maybe we're heading back into a direction where i can you know recapture that that love i have of a band that i've seen like 29 times got tattooed on my leg my back and my yeah. arm and that have helped me through some of my darkest times in life you know so it's it's a it's a big deal for me i can understand that not everyone's gonna love a song to get me wrong and it was definitely not any machine head sound that we've heard before it's uh, rob's rob like you're always gonna no matter what machine they do rob you know he's he's not the world's greatest vocalist we all know that he, he hasn't got like f- massive he hasn't got five different voices or or you know what, what i mean he has his range and that's his range the solo is musically the best part of the song i 100 percent agree with that i think the solo is mm. phenomenal uh but i guess for me more than anything else to me i'm looking at this it's like a like i don't know you've been going through a tunnel and there's a light at the end and i know that the band members in machine head now and i was wondering what sound they were going to make and maybe this is pointing me towards that because for the last few years i wondered if they were going to drop off the face of the earth or yeah. or were they going to go purely for trying to do singles and radio play and this is almost i don't know maybe i'm reading too much into it as we do sometimes but i'm looking at this and i'm like even just the name of it the name it's not it's the name's not enough to get on you on the radio no no radio station is playing it's, it's not commercially named enough arrows and words <laughs> and, from the sky and, yeah you know so i don't know i don't know it's almost like a on batman and the signal's gone up yeah if you think <laughs> can see uh, that maybe it's possible to like, return to that sound and it's a free song ep they might just be trying to find that test it out see what people that's what the last couple of years have felt like the last couple of years yeah. since the massive lineup change has felt like let's find what machine head is now and maybe we're getting yeah. there maybe. yeah yeah i mean it, uh, I'm I'm happy with that, but that's it. That's as simple as that. I'm happy with it. Uh, I'm not blown away by it. Uh, that's good enough. That's more than good enough. Yeah, I will accept this. Yes. <laughs> Let us know it's what you machine head. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. You can check us out on gbhbell.com as well as on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Tumblr. Go to Patreon to help us out over there. That's patreon.com forward slash GBHBL as well as Big Cartel where you can find some of our merchandise. We have a podcast running on SoundCloud and Apple Podcasts. And of course, if you like this video, do us a favour, hit the subscribe button and help the channel grow. Games, horror and heavy metal. What else is life for?